Yo, what up, crew? Welcome back to the show. It's your partner, Jess Mike, and yeah, man, we're going to be talking about Meek Mill versus Drake, that whole situation. I'm tired of it. I truly am tired of it. I'm pretty sure you guys are tired of it, too. I'm tired of the memes and everything. I mean, I've made a ton of them myself, but I'm still tired of them. But check this out, man. I just want to speak about a couple unpopular truths about the whole situation, right? So, one of the first unpopular truths that I want to talk about is A. Drake dissed Meek Mill first. Now, a lot of people say, what? Meek basically dragged Drake all over the internet on Twitter and stuff, talking about he had a ghostwriter and everything. Well, he never said Drake had a ghostwriter. He simply said Drake didn't write his own stuff when it came to his project. Drake was the one who dissed Meek Mill on wax first, on record first, right? He dissed Meek Mill twice before Meek Mill responded to him. Understand that, Drake dissed Meek Mill first. Making a statement about somebody is not dissing them, all right? If you bought a fake iPhone from a store and you got it home and it broke on you, you're gonna talk to other people about it. You're gonna let everybody know that this company sold you some faulty equipment. I guarantee you, if Charlemagne would've got those six bottles of Dom P, end up being fake, he would have let us know the, the second. Like, if he opened up the bottles and they were Don P boxes or Corbell bottles, we would have found out the next second after, right? That's just the truth. Alright, so the next thing. Drake still has not responded to Meek Mill. You might say that's un, that's, un, that's impossible. He put out two diss tracks. Well, no. He put out two diss records. He never has responded in a statement to these allegations and or accusations, all right? That's truth. He put out songs. Now, you gotta understand this. How can you put out a response in song form when the accusation is that your songs are somewhat bogus because you don't fully write them, all right? You understand now? Okay. Now. Drake is a master tactician. Drake is a great artist. That's why a lot of people really don't care if he wrote the tracks or not. Because the same way we don't care about Beyonce writing her own music or Rihanna writing her own music, people just love Drake to perform. They love his whole, uh, his whole complete body of work. They don't just love just the rapping part. They love everything about him. His, he's a complete artist and I do too I love what Drake does but at the same time when you want to be considered a rapper that rapper side of you you want to be considered a lyricist I'm with Meek on that you gotta kind of write your stuff all the time you can't defer now maybe you can do some hooks or something maybe some melodies you know what I'm saying but you cannot take someone's whole verse and pawn it off as your own the last time I checked that was called plagiarism you know what I mean? And so what Meek has to do is he has to take this to the court of the public. He has to stop making diss tracks. I know it sounds stupid, but he has to stop making diss songs about it. He has to stop making songs. He has to stop tweeting about it and start talking about it. Open up a public forum. Go on radio stations. Do interviews. You know? And when you speak, speak from a place of factualness and from your own personal experiences and no bias. And I guarantee you that public opinion will force Drake to come forward and answer these questions about what's going on with his songwriting process. What role does Quentin Miller play in the OVO camp? And why are you giving people collaborative tracks that you didn't necessarily write 100%? All right? And that's what you have to do. I'm not on any of these guys' sides. I enjoy all of their work. I love every single thing that Drake does, even the stuff that Quentin Miller allegedly had a hand in doing. Still love it. But at the end of the day, you have to answer accusations with statements. Don't, let's not be clouded by what the real thing is here. 